What's up, y'all? So, yep, you read the title right. El Gato messed up another gameplay. So, what I said is, I'm not going to dis um disregard it. What I'm gonna do is so try to chop it up and try to give y'all like a rundown as y'all can right see path. the video is it might be true. What is this? I don't know she needs I don't know, I don't know what's it. going on with that girl though this Could is not the first time this is actually the reason I stopped using it and went to um, use retro games because it was just easier to record so I don't know what's going on but let me give y'all a rundown on what happened in this story here so basically where we left off after we did the puzzle is we were heading further down underground to meet with the giant confront her and try to get some more info on her on the way down there there was a puzzle we had to do now this puzzle uh it was like it was just a little tricky, but if you just said took your time and not overthink it and stuff, it wasn't that bad, really. But basically, what it was is just another one of those uh sphere puzzles where the world, the world turns upside down every time you get a new sphere, and then you try to get a pathway to get all the spheres to unlock the next pathway pretty much so all right so here's the speed here this is the first one how you started off um i was looking around to see if i could find any hidden faces or um stuff like that before i started uh, i don't think i did i'm not really sure but yeah so here's the first one um Look at the so there's in this one there were and dark. It is trying I want to say there was three three pathways we had to connect um but during this one actually they kind of threw me for a little loop so I'm trying to wait till it happens before I even bring it up but I think I think it's not gonna happen till later it looks like so basically yeah okay so here it is one it is either two or three spheres but yeah here's the first location to unlock it like I said it's a very very simple puzzle if you take your time and do it for me and me I was just trying to be more talkative and entertaining on the mic and not really paying attention on what everything I had to do. So I kind of got stuck a little bit. I can't even lie. But I'm human. I'm human, so. Oh no, this one had three. This one had three speeds. So one's already connected, then I grabbed the second one, then. With these puzzles here, if you forget, you don't really need to have the spear in your hand to flip it. Or you can just focus on the water drops and then they'll flip the little platform for you. Like here, boom. Which, I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, that's the wrong way. That was the right way. But yeah, like I was saying, this one, this one here, the one here, the one here, loop. Because during it, as you can see, some of the darkness. I'm not going to the darkness. I'm not just going to go to the darkness. So they're called. <laughs> so they're going to be called the darkness. Alright? So the darkness. The darkness means. Probably. During this puzzle, they're about being close to solving. So I'm going to take her down. Which. I thought it was bad. Once. Now I'm playing with the hard, so. Their, their damage is more than the faster. 
but after I got all that situated and I got the puzzle solved, as you can see right here, but I'm putting the last piece in, the, the um, this pathway opens up. Now this pathway was a little interesting because you see this lake here, the pathway is actually under the lake. So once it clears up, all the water just drains down like a um, like a bathtub. It just goes down the drain, and then once it all clears up, there's a pathway to go even further down into I guess we'll call it surface into the dark, where we're trying to figure out where the giant is or just trying to get some info on her um so walk our way down at this time I'm still looking for um faces and are they called rituals or they're just called like stones what are they called the little the little tall stick things with the little symbols in, in the um in the front of it I don't know. I was looking for those while I was going through this tunnel. And this tunnel kind of reminded me of... I don't know if it was a castle in the first game or what. But it was a location very similar to this in the first game where we had to use this torch to get through dark areas. And then sometimes the torch would go out and we had to run to get a new torch and... Yada yada yada. You know what I mean? So basically no this was what was going on here, but instead of it being the castle the it was a cave Deep and then we were going she further she down. Again. Now this time. There were some the aspects of the, of the I think I'm saying that we're right. Oh I am if I'm not fuck it. She she whatever. Um <laughs> um There was some spots in this cave that I would say the um the sound the sound really made it fire rising from the ground more more told him it was coming from the burial mound of car it made the ex ever since he died atmosphere more and warned him to stay away more damn I don't know I don't know I don't know the word I'm trying to look for it made it feel more intense it made it feel more intense just how the audio was used and made for this area specifically so y'all yeah, saw so I found one stone a stone well yeah stone I don't know I still don't know what I'm gonna call them but I found one of those maybe way down now I'm in this area where you see this blue mist so basically what this blue mist is it's like it's like a guide like in the puzzles where you have to have to flip the universe so basically what you do is you light these little stones right let's see if I'm gonna get up here these stones right here you light it and it opens a pathway now if you um get rid of the fire of course pathway is gone but when you light it there's a blue flame and there's a pathway now um so basically got a new type of puzzle and implemented which was cool was cool um like I said in the beginning of the that well not the beginning at the end of the last gameplay this is in my opinion a interactive movie so I'm enjoying it for what it was um here I am I don't know what I'm doing because the video is so choppy. I think I'm trying to figure out which direction to go. Then I got stuck. I think this area was really dark where you had to crawl under a location. That's why it was so hard to find. Because I always found like an end but it was always a dead end. In the right direction you got to go is like you got to crawl under. I believe to get 
further down into the cave. I think this is that part. So yeah, boom, look, I got lost again. I keep going to that same spot. But I went there. Right there, there it is. I went, I found this spot on accident when I first got there, but then I went browsing and got lost. So yeah, you go here. And I'm sitting here like, oh shit, we're gonna fall into some water. Uh, torch is gonna be out. Which, I don't think happened. I don't think our torch went out. I think we was able to save it, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to wait to see before I okay, we jump down. Yeah, we saved it. Now we're in the water. In this water here, I don't know what happens if you stay in it too long, but I know the, the spirits, I want to call them. I know, um, well, are they the spirits or are they the hidden folks? I don't know if the hidden folks or the spirits or the hidden folks are entirely children. different people. But anyway, I'm gonna call them spirits because that's what they look like. For the hidden folk there are spirits in this water. Careful. So if they, you stay in, I'm, assu I'm assuming These if you stay in the water too long, back. they'll drag you down and but it is said help you drown. The in their but the torch helps them, um, helps you from keeping them, keeping them away from you. Um, but yeah, we went through a new location which had a waterfall which got rid of my torch so I had to, in the water, had to go to another fire location, relit, relight my torch, and try to figure out a new pathway on where to go. Um, I'm just so pissed off, I'm sorry. I'm pissed off how Elgato just missed it in this gameplay. So here, um, I put the torch in a, um, in this, this like little circle thing. Y'all saw that, right? And it opened it up a new, well, kind of technically yeah, a new location where it is another puzzle. Um, but this puzzle is actually going to be, I'm getting help from a hidden folk or spirit. They're guiding me on where to go, but it was still tricky because there's more pieces this time. So if you're not careful, or you're not paying attention, you'll be here longer than you should. But at the end, I figured out what I always do. Um, I hand the torch inside of the um. Just like that little hole, like you just saw a second ago, the in the um, in the wall, so the um, the the spirit the can beginning. grab it and no. open the pathway for she me, so I can walk there. past it. Cause we're doing like a like a tag team thing right now, so sometimes I have to do something, and the spirit's just sitting there waiting on me. Well, sometimes I can have a pathway and give the torch to the spirit and they'll do it for me. Um, I think I'm speaking ahead though, cause I don't think it happened yet. Oh no, it happened, it happened. It cause it opened that pathway for me now. Um, and then I'm gonna walk up here. Oh, I think I might've cut it out though. Cause I already pre-chopped the video up. Oh no, oh, you can see a little bit of it. So yeah, here's the hole right here, boom. Then the spirit on the other side is going to grab it and open a pathway so I can cross into this next part of the cave. You see him walking, or she, you see her, him, whatever, walking. Going to open this pathway right in front of me, which I already cut out. Boom. In the cave now. So in this cave, it's dark. It's dark and I don't know what in this darkness, the darkness of... What do you want to call them? The darkness kids? Hold on. Um, hold on. Yeah, we're fighting them, but um, um, shoot, shoot, I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting something. Hold on. They were talking about something about kids leaving, or coming back, something coming back as something different. So in my head. I'm assuming that these little, these faster little darkness little freaky looking people, 
or the kids, but they're not, they came back, but they're not kids anymore. So that's what I'm thinking they are. But now we don't lost our torch, so now the hidden folk or the spirit is guiding us through the tunnel and our main goal is to keep up with the light. Sometimes I guess it's like with the jump scare effect, which it was cool. I can see how some people can get scared by the apps. It made the atmosphere even more intense. I think here we have a nice little battle. Yeah, nice little battle with two kids. Um, the lighting, the gameplay, the lighting, the sound, the effects, the graphics. Like this whole area here was nice, real nice. That's why I'm so, I'm so pissed off that it messed up. Because this was a really, really good, intense chapter. Um, but as you see, we're walking, walking through, walking through, and we hear a spirit. We hear someone, something coming through the hole from another one of those hoses in the wall, and they're asking for the sword. So now we're contemplating if we should even give them the sword at the end of the day. She actually ends up giving them the sword. Now she has no torch and no sword. We're gonna touch. We're gonna touch base on that must have again later. I promise you. But that's all I'm gonna say. Someone or something is asking for the sword. Now we don't have a torch and the sword. So now all we are relying on is the spirit or the hidden folk to guide us with their light through the tunnel so now we we now? don't have nothing at all she we're defenseless against anything against we're just gonna trust the, the hidden folk spirit or whatever to guide us to safety with their security and everything with no issues so we're walking through walking through and as you as you saw we don't have a light, so now these little dark kids or whatever you want to call them, they'll be, they'll be around, they'll be around until that light pops up. That light, that light is saving us and guiding us at the same time. So we walking through, walking through, getting further and further down. Now, at some point, I think. I, yeah, at some point I forgot we was even down here to um try to get details on the giant. Giant. Yeah. Right. At, at this point we're calling her the giant, the giant lady. That's what we're gonna call her for right now. So now we're just guiding her. We just the light is guiding us to where we need to go. Because honestly, this was. Yeah, this was two. This was two gameplays, but both of them had messed up, so I had to just chop them up both together and try to mix it up. Um, but now here the spirits lead us to, which I believe is like the final puzzle. I want to say, and underground the final underground puzzle. So basically, what we're doing is we're gonna use like the raindrops since we don't have a choice this is basically just a raindrop puzzle our ultimate one or a big one or whatever that's gonna flip some locations to get us to the gate to get out of this um cave we're thinking like the hidden folks now the hidden folks have been quote unquote training us with these puzzles Cause this is, I guess, how they think. They think, and this is the best way they use to get around and stuff. So they train us, and this is like the ultimate test to see do we comprehend how they get around and stuff. I guess I could be wrong. I could just be talking shit. I don't know. But basically, we work our way around, fix the puzzle to make our way out of here. Now this part here. 
believe it or not, is a very us. claustrophobic <laughs> section. Now, me, I'm not claustrophobic. I don't like I am, but towards the middle of this, okay, uh, you're still controlling it, which I didn't know. Because the graphics are so good, I thought it was just like another cutscene, but no, we're controlling her, and I stopped because I'm like, I can't even breathe. Let me sit, let me take a minute, breathe. And then when we get out, I take the biggest breath. I mean, it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, so they did that whole closet focus section. Great. Um, here. I'm trying to read the subtitles honestly because I don't really remember what's going on here. I just remember we get to a new section, there's a lake, and we look at our reflection. And we're, I guess, telling the hidden folk we're here. We're ready to try to understand what you're trying to show us, or something like that. And then we see our reflection, we touch it. Okay, boom. I don't really they are waiting. Like I really I can't really remember too much because this was like a two what will we two and a half hour section. Us? But now I'm just gotta do a run a rundown. Touch. And it's all choppy and you know, so bear with me but Yeah, all I know is we just for we saw our reflection. Hopefully y'all can read that. I can't read it. The text is so small on this laptop while I'm doing this. Let me choose this play. Far enough. Say it. You are ready to tell them. Okay. I am here. Now. So if we're late and then don't know we're here. What will happen to them? What will happen to you? I will not let them down. She's ready. Give us. They know. We're not go. fighting back anymore. We're not scared. We're willing to go through whatever. And then, boom. We fall through the water and they begin to tell us this story about this lady and what she's been through. And you see things different. What happens to her? Um, look, so and you will see her. We, we're, we're, they're doing, I don't know and if it's a, a hidden foe or a spirit is enter reenacting the latest story. As you can see here, I don't, I don't really know, or they just, put, I don't know how you want to describe it but they're telling the story yeah, of this lady and now. we're just walking and seeing and listening to what happened to this lady while at the same time the, too the hidden folk slash spirit is guiding us further down or guiding us out of the cave but pretty much um if I'm not mistaken, this lady, she's been through a lot, and I guess, like her village or whatever, something was going on, I don't know, I don't know exactly what was going on, but I know, towards the end, towards the end, she had a baby, she had a baby, something happened, something happened, and she was talking to somebody, and she was, Asking, she was saying she had received a daughter. Something like that. So her baby can get the light bulb. I don't know. Help me. Everywhere. Shit, I don't know. But no, look, look, look here. We're at this circle, right? And we're asking I need for the spirit for our soul. You are nothing without your soul. You know what I'm saying? We're asking the spirit for our soul. Now there's no time. Remember, not too long ago, we were given the spirit of the sword. Hurry, take it. 
she survived. You know what I'm saying? So basically, and now she has somehow invested with her sacrifice. We are the spirit. All her blood if I'm not mistaken, this is what they're trying to tell us. We're the spirit. We're helping us help ourselves out or something. I don't. This world is very confusing. But yeah, we get our sword back from our ancestors. It will show down gifts of hope. And I understand the combat a little bit more. Um, I know the red, like when there's a heavy red attack, you gotta buy this guy. Then I wanna follow that up with a light attack and then a heavy attack. Um, sometimes. You really don't have to use your focus. You can really store that till you really, really need it. You don't really need it if you time it correctly and your parry and your dodge is actually on fire. You don't really need it that much. You can just hold that on. Um, but again, we're just fighting, fighting sometimes. Just try to play the teams. So, what I'm thinking is, I'm just gonna move out. I think it's like her demon. Just fighting her demons, fighting her demons. I guess we're just gonna keep fighting our demons till we can't fight. Anymore. And we just take on our demons, acknowledge them, and try to come out. The other side stronger, I believe. That's what I'm thinking. Cause I don't know about what it is. Did I put it in here? I didn't. So at the end of that battle, I get outnumbered and they just jump on top of me. Like four or five of them just jump on top of me, jump on top of me, jump on top of me. And at some point we just lay there and just let go. And then they disappear. And then we end up here. Wherever this is. But then we find the giant's baby. Oh, She's still like there. Real name. As you can see. Um What was the name? They said the um the giant's name. So now we know the giant's we name. Her name is chosen. Was it Ingram? We changed something. Them. Some I N G Charge something. Them. Invest them with me. I don't know what it was. But now we understand away, what she went through. We know her name. So Ruthless. now we're thinking, okay. Selfless. Maybe All the we names can that understand were lost, she will fight. where she's and coming hold. from. We know her name. She Maybe Ingram. when we confront her again. She knows her. Ingen. Ingen? Show it again. Sorry, I'm watching I'm watching the video just like y'all watching it. Show his name again. Show her name again so I can see it. But fuck it then, I ain't gonna say it then. You ain't gonna show me. But yeah, basically we're gonna use the information we got Aims of power. when we true meet her names. again. They cut to our hearts. Her name is power. To know the and true, names, true names. What did I say? True names cut deeper or something like that? I don't know what it said exactly. It went by too fast. Um, but yeah, we're gonna use that next time we see her. We're either gonna, we're gonna bring up the baby, what she been through, and we're gonna call her by her name. We're not gonna call her the monster, the giant, whatever, all that shit. But yeah, that's all that happened in these two hour, these two gameplays pretty much. Hopefully, I'm able to fix this because which you can sometimes catch a glimpse. The game, the game, the game is good. The game is nice, but Elgato need to get this shit together. I don't really know what's going on with it. Um, maybe I can record with OBS. I think I'm gonna do some tests. I'm gonna do some tests to see what I can do, what I can't do. But yeah, like the video if you like it. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Leave a comment on anything you want. I'm sorry we had to do it like this, but I had no choice. But I'm gonna work on it, and I'll see y'all in the next one.